women have been incredibly invisible in the farming sector. Women are vital to this part of the country. We need to step up. The days of the solo man running the station on his own and gazing off into the sunset, they're over. I think the general public looks at women on farms as being farmers' wives who stay home, have babies, cook a lot of food and send their husbands off to work with a big kiss. That's not the reality. I think it's been a man's world for a long, long time and now women are speaking up. Women are, to me, they're the backbone of the country and the younger ones are, you know, they're definitely not frightened and they'll challenge anyone. Girls fly, they muster, they, they can do anything. I chose not to be invisible. Like I chose to get myself out there because it's something that I love doing and I wasn't gonna let anybody stop me from you know, doing what I love. I'm quite visible most of the time and I make myself visible most of the time because I like to be involved and I like to take on new opportunities and have a say in our industry and have a say in our future. I put farmer, pastoralist, cook, accountant, uh, <laughs> nurse. I think the image of a farmer, and if you Googled it, you would see probably a middle to older age man, come on sheep, that doesn't look so healthy and is hanging on to his dog. So you would find more dogs than you would women. Definitely. <laughs> and not all farms have a dog. <laughs> Physically, we might not have the strength to compare ourselves to a man's strength, but our voice is so powerful that if we choose to use it in the right way, you know, you know, choosing our battles wisely, you know, women are unstoppable. I think agriculture is a good field for women because, uh, first of all, everybody has to eat, you know? Doesn't matter what your position in life, doesn't matter how much your wealth or what you don't have, you need to eat. And agriculture is part of living. And I like it. I like being a farmer. <laughs> I enjoy it. Oh, lights. Sunlight. I love the sun. I hate the rural and city divide. Yes, it's there, but it's also up to rural people to reach back to our city cousins as well. And say, walk with us, here's our story, because we need to feed people and we need support to be able to look after this country for them. So, you know, we're a partnership and I think stories will help strengthen that partnership. <laughs> <laughs>